today we're prepping to build a tiny house. We actually are doing what we call STEAM. Um, so that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So the A is in there where STEM would be, you know, it takes, kind of takes the arts out. But I think that the arts are extremely important. And so does our community and our, and our district as a whole. And so this is our first go around uh, with a STEAM class. We do have our technology teacher slash industrial arts. 17 then, and you'll get both of them out of that piece, or you can play another and one. And our this art teacher to, this year involved. The windows here because we wanted to leave you your school. Last year, our superintendent really wanted to implement the program at our school. And um, so he asked uh, myself and the shop teacher if we would be willing to uh, start a class. He didn't really give us a guideline. He just gave us kind of an overview of what STEAM was supposed to be and said go for it and come up with a curriculum. Uh, I watch a lot of home improvement shows um, and I just built a house myself so I'm really into um, interior design and uh, I was really into the idea of the tiny house, especially the, the green part of it, um, being self-sustained and the alternative energies. And I thought this would fit perfectly in this curriculum. You know, they'll learn um, the design process, we'll get into the science part with the alternative energies, uh, so it's, it fit in nicely. Knowing that two months ago I was designing the rooms that now I'm nailing together and putting up on the Frame. This neat. I just started looking up um, tiny house builders and I came across Bill's uh, website. And we called him up and we went to visit him. We just had a very interesting visit from a dozen or so very promising young tiny house students from a high school up in Harrisville, New York. I was really taken aback by how much detail and how much time they spent for all their tiny houses. They put a lot of time in and a lot of interest. Tried to get as much storage as I could on this. No TV in a bedroom, that's good. No, I have the TV downstairs. Well, I think everyone else thought we were just checking it out, but I think in my heart I knew that um, this is definitely something that we could accomplish this year. Uh, and then things have just been falling into place since then. It's, um, there's been so much joy and excitement this weekend, uh, and I think the kids are finally uh, realizing how big this is. We have a great group of kids. They're motivated. Um, they all have special skills and talents that I think are kind of playing off each other, and they're forming a great team. 